Every night, Alex Horn goes digging into the past, hoping to find a future. In the graves of the forgotten, he seeks treasures equally abandoned. Nice night for a dig. What do you want? Not much. Just wanted to have a word with you. Don't see many of our kind around here. Okay, you've made yourself known. Now you can go your own way. Desecrating graves rubs some people the wrong way, I guess. Not everybody's got the stomach for it. Is this some kind of shakedown? You want half my findings or something? Oh, heavens no. And you aren't going to notify the law? No, no. That wouldn't be good for my ambitions, would it? Just don't try lifting any dirt over here. I would never interfere with another man's hunt. Good. I'm not splitting whatever I find. I would never dare. It's like... Buried treasure and gambling rolled into one. You risk your time and your effort and your soul just for whatever's in that coffin. It's just bones in there. They ain't people no more. It's just worm food. People part left a long time ago. No sense in rings and jewels being lost forever. Exactly. That's what I thought too. Nothing malicious about it. Sacrilegious, desecration, criminal. Big words thrown around by man-made institutions, am I right? Right. I knew I would get along with you the moment I saw your silhouette against the stars. What drew you to this particular spot? I don't know. I just got a good feeling about it. I've been pretty lucky picking the good ones. It's like a gift. I got a sixth sense about it. Oh? What's your usual take? Mostly wedding rings. I've had some loose jewelry. Diamonds, rubies, emeralds. I guess some of them just don't have anyone to leave them to and they try to take them with them. And then you come along. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Like I said, why should they be off limits? They're still valuable to those of us still here. Yeah, maybe they should be off limits. Have you ever thought what you're doing could be wrong? Really? You're going to judge me now? A minute ago you were just saying how great it was to find a like-minded individual who is not hindered by human institutions. Isn't that what you said? More or less. I'm just asking. Have you ever thought about it? Of course I have. Rarely. But I do think about it sometimes. Do you think I want to do this? That I get some kind of sick enjoyment out of it? Just a way to make extra money. Keep food on the table. There are other ways to make money. Safer ways. I can handle myself. I know it. But why be out here in the middle of the night when you could be home, resting peacefully? I'm almost done here. If it's getting too late for you, maybe you should go do your own thing. Nah, I'm not really in the mood tonight. Once I start seeing the holes in the ground for what they really are, I just have a hard time taking from what's inside of them. And when I pry open that coffin and I see what's left of who's left, well, it just makes me feel downright dirty. I've never had a problem sliding a ring off a bone or reaching around a skull to unclasp a pendant. Well, you're a good one. A real master of your craft. That was a shallow one. Reconsider. What? Reconsider, please. Do you know this person? If so, all you had to do was tell me. No, it's nothing like that. Just some acts are unnatural. Look, I've never killed anyone. 
This might be my vice, but I'm good at it. There's still time to be good at other things, Alex. That's it. I'm done talking to you. How did you know my name? You should have listened. You never listen. Every night, Alex Horn goes digging into the past, hoping to find a future. In the graves of the forgotten, he seeks treasures equally abandoned. But each night he's forced to dig into his own past, to discover he has no future. And the only treasure he will find is the truth the truth of his own penance. So if you ever happen near a graveyard during the witching hour and see the shadow of a man toiling with a spade in the hard, autumn soil, think twice before alarming authorities or approaching. It may be Alex Horn working off the sins of his past.